What's up guys? Toast again from Fish Yacker. Welcome back. Thought I'd show you how I made an improvised mount for my Lawrence Active Target using a handful of Yak Attack accessories. What's up guys? Toast again from Fish Yacker. Welcome back. I'm back out here with the Express Jet Boat Project. Here is how I mounted my Lowrance Active Target Live Sonar System. As you see there, there is a Lowrance Active Target transducer with the uh, included hardware it comes with. I attached it to a aluminum piece of tubing to sleeve it up and make it uh, fit. I actually took a piece of PVC, cut a notch out of it, kind of used that as a bushing and attached it directly to the bottom of the aluminum tubing. Here, I took a Yak Attack rod holder, one of their original Zuka tubes, and I actually did similar to what I did on the bottom. I press fitted a piece of PVC inside of it. Then I used one of their extension arms and there you go, there's the mounting point here. And then I simply uh, took some uh, rattle can bed liner to it. On either end, these little clip mechanisms here are actually weightlifting dumbbell clamps. They fit it perfectly. I used that so I could actually uh, move the height up and down, but keep it in a pretty standard location. Up top, I took a 90 degree curved piece of PVC fit that into place and again to make it uh, look clean I put that bed liner again here this piece of uh, EVA foam is actually off a pair of uh, <laughs> Dollar Tree nunchucks in the toy section and then I took some uh, epoxy there and just capped the end of it off just to kind of clean it up a little bit how do I have this puppy mounted on here well as you know most modern aluminum bass boats have a track system so there you go. I use the Yak Attack Turnkey Boat Track Adapter. So look at that. That's their uh, 45 degree angle in there. You can get them at different angles. But it actually uh, plays right in there into the track, angles it up. And depending on the type of uh, size tubing you're using, that's one of the roto grips. Now you can get these roto grips from Yak Attack that'll fit, say, a uh, diameter of a kayak paddle or even a Yak Attack uh, stakeout pole, one of their uh, parking poles, like you might see over there on the other side. And then here in the middle, just have one of their uh, connectors, as you see here, with a little strap through it that I cut down to size. Again, another Yak Attack accessory. That way, so if I hit a bump or a pothole or something, I'm in PA, so you know they're everywhere. Uh, it doesn't pop out of those roto grips so all i have to do is go in here and take that strap off and i'll show you how i attach it and mount it on the front of the boat so here's a closer look at it without the pole in place as you see here and as it starts to rain a little bit there on the yak wagon but uh there you go you can turn it change the direction and here you go just got a yak attack track here got it mounted right into it i've got the quick release all you have to do is pull that out pick it on and off put it at the angle you want it it's got the extension arm just long enough to get it over the side i can deploy it really quick hook it right up to my uh, HDS Live head unit. And there you go. Pretty cool. All right, guys, if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to the Fish Yacker YouTube channel. Give us that thumbs up. Share the video on all your social media outlets. And we'll catch you on the water. FishYacker.com, the original kayak rigging video series.